Hello everyone, this is Manjula Devi P, working as assistant professor in GFGC Kanakpura. Today I am discussing about investment management. It comes in BBA 5th semester of Bangalore University, but of course many other universities also have this as part of their curriculum. So in this session, let us see what is the meaning of investment how investment is different from speculation or gambling, what is the nature of investment management, what is the scope of investment management. So all that we will discuss in this unit, in this session. So first and foremost, what is investment? Uh, when somebody asks you investment or uh, generally in the layman language, we keep talking about investment. Oh, I invested on my car, I invested uh, in buying a, a new TV to my house. So likewise, we uh, use the term investment in common man's language. But technically, what is the meaning of investment? So here, investment is the process of sacrifice, sacrificing something new for the prospect of gaining something later. So that means, so here, we are sacrificing something, the present consumption and we are putting it elsewhere and the objective of it is to earn gain or to earn something in return on that. So if you are buying a TV, you are, it is just for entertainment purpose. So technically it is not considered as investment, it is an expenditure. Okay. So here there is a difference between investment and expenditure. Expending is expired cost, you are uh, for enjoying or for something you are spending and it is over. But investment, it is not like that, you are uh, sacrificing, the sacrificing the present consumption in order to earn a future gain or return out of it. Okay? So in simple words, it is also uh, told as, it is the employment of funds with the purpose of earning additional income or growth in value. Say I have 15,000 with me right now, so I can go and buy a smartphone with that. So that's not investment. I can, if I'm putting the money in the bank so that I get interest or I'm keeping it an FD for three years, then I consider that as investment. Definition of investment. If we see uh, how people have defined it, the sacrifice of certain present value for some future uncertain uh, uncertain future value. This is by Sharp. So he is one of the economists. So he's defined it this way. So we are sacrificing the present value for some uncertain future value. A very important term to note is uncertain. When it comes to investment, it is for sure how much I am investing. But when it comes to the return, it is uncertain. I cannot 100% say this is going to be my return. Okay. Yeah, of course, there are some returns or some investment avenues which promises a fixed return, but anyway, there cannot be any 100% guarantee on any returns that we have at present. Then it is uh, one more definition, purchase of a financial asset that produces a yield that is proportional to the risk assumed over some future investment period. This is by G. Fleming. Yeah, here also he talks about one of the very important aspect about investment that is risk. Yeah, when we talk about investment, we cannot let the concept of risk behind because of course investment is done for the purpose of earning return. But when we talk about return, always risk is attached to it. So let us see in this entire unit, we will talk about risk and return. Of course, in this session, we will restrict it to some discussion. Of course, in the coming session, we will talk about risk return aspects. So, when we talk about investment, concept of investment, economic investment, business investment, financial investment, mainly uh, economic and financial investments are kind of related. So, let us see what is economic investment. So, here uh, investment is considered as 
uh, as we have already discussed forgoing the uh, present benefit for the uncertain benefits or uncertain returns in the future. Then when it comes to business investment, you are putting your money in a business. Like I am starting, I am investing 5 lakhs and I am opening a shop. Then that is called as business investment. Then when it comes to financial investment, very important because in this entire syllabus of investment management, the investment is seen from the perspective of financial investment. What is financial investment? So here it means investing in the financial assets. What are the financial assets? We have shares, debentures, of course bank deposit or we have stock, we have bonds. So all these are the financial investment where you are investing your liquid cash and converting it to a uh, document in the form of share certificate or debenture certificate and that investment in turn is mobilized and put for business use by some other people. So here in this entire uh, syllabus in fact the investment we are seeing from the point of your financial investment. Then what is investment management? So we have the syllabus as investment management. So till now we saw what is the meaning of investment. Now when we talk about investment management, so very simple basically managing the investment. Whether you are managing your own portfolio or your own uh, different investment avenues or you are managing some others investment portfolio. Basically it refers to the handling of financial assets and other investment by professionals for clients. Then investment management includes devising strategies and executing trades with the financial portfolio. Basically you are managing the funds, you are looking into the different financial avenues, I mean investment avenues available and you are calculating the risk, you are calculating the return and you are making a trade off between that and you are so finding a suitable investment plan. So all that is part of the investment management. Here yeah, then comes uh, a discussion on investment versus speculation. What is speculation basically? So you all know what is investment where you are sacrificing the present uh, consumption and you are putting your money somewhere, you are investing it so that you can earn future returns and of course it has a certain amount of risk involved. But when it comes to speculation, so speculation is an activity where of course I am investing money or I am putting my money so that I get profit out of it. So here though uh, prima facie these two look same, so I am putting money so that I need some returns. But when it comes to speculation, it is not based on any scientific uh, calculation or uh, mainly speculation you are indulging in it to earn short term returns but investment is relatively a long term process but when it comes to speculation you are just guessing something you are just trying to make uh, uh, advantage you just want to take the advantage of the situation and then you are putting your money and again uh, comparatively speculation involves huge amount of risk compared to carefully planned investment. Of course, these two can be uh, distinguished on these three criteria. One is risk, one is capital gain, one is the time period. Of course, risk when I told a carefully planned investment, you can minimize your risk, but speculation always carries a huge amount of risk. But when it comes to capital gain, investment may not give you a higher capital gain in the short term. But when it comes to speculation, the main motive of speculation is to make a capital gain. That means is to uh, today you are investing, say uh, today you are in, in investing 100 rupees and maybe uh, after 2-3 days you will get a return of say 200 rupees. So your money is getting doubled in 3 days. Say you are uh, maybe you, are, you, ha you got a hint that 
this share is going to be increased there's, there's going to be a huge increase so you're putting it and luckily it worked and you're getting your money doubled just in few days so that is speculation again time as i told speculation is for a short term duration of time whereas investment is relatively a long term process then the next thing investment versus gambling what is gambling basically so you might have heard about betting uh, recently in the ipl season usually we get to hear about uh, betting stuff so here gambling is uh, again you are investing you are putting some amount of money into it but it's purely matter of luck and also there is no ra rational economic reason there is no calculation there is no logic there is no uh, scientific analysis you are just believing in your luck and you are putting it if you win you will win otherwise you will completely lose so naturally gambling involves huge amount of risk and gambling is again uh, it's also illegal so when it comes to betting or any such thing so it is also illegal but when it comes to investment so you're carefully planning your investment avenue and you're putting your money into it the nature of investment management so what basically we have in it it helps in making investment decision uh, and the uh, main tagline or uh, main important factor about investment management is usually higher the risk higher the expected return so the depend of depending on investment avenue you have if you are ready to take higher risk chances of expecting higher returns are also there then again when it comes to investment management one can take decision only after analyzing the entire process of investment that start with fund contribution and ends with getting expected expectations fulfilled yeah like investment management basically a whole process where you are starting with assessing what are the different avenues you have then you are taking a decision you are making a plan you are creating a portfolio you are putting your money and then you are checking whether what you had planned what is the actual return is it actually matching okay so it all is included in the investment management and one more important thing is higher the time period uh, basically the higher the uncertainties of investment like you are investing for 20 years you never know what happens after 20 years so again this time period uh, again we can also uh, say that it's like a graph actually in the coming session we are going to discuss about it in detail so when it comes to a very short time uncertainties are less up to an optimum level your uncertainties are less then once it exceeds then your uncertainties are more so it has uh, its own risk i mean time period and return uncertainties relation then scope of investment management means what are the activities basically involved in the investment management suppose if you are uh, a fund manager or if you start up your own uh, investment management company then what are the things that you will basically doing first and foremost you identify the investors requirement so as each investor is different and each one's uh, investing capability their investing uh, motive and their risk taking ability so all that may be different okay that differs depending on the nature of the person depending on their age group their experience their uh, uh, interest so all that matters so first and foremost as an investment manager you need to identify the requirement of the investor then assess the risk return of different investment avenues so you uh, look what are the different investment avenues that we have so whether that money has to be put in real estate put in uh, precious metals or uh, it has to be put in sh shares and debentures whether it has to be invested in bank or post office we have so many investment avenues again there has to be a, a proper mix and match of different like you you'll not put all the investment in one set because there's one common saying don't put all the eggs in one basket okay 
So because once if the basket falls, then all eggs will get broken. So that's why like there's one common saying. So you have to assess carefully what is the risk and return of different investment opportunities and then formulate a strategy, formulate a policy, then execute it, invest, go on investing it and then monitor your portfolio. So whether uh, is it going according to your plan or you need to change the plan, uh, uh, there is a situation which makes you to alter your plan. So you have to constantly monitor your portfolio. So these are some of the activities or scope which is involved in the investment management. Yeah, just to recap what we discussed in this session, the meaning of investment, it's an economic activity where your application of your money for earning more money in future. Okay, nobody invests or just to say no, oh, like I don't want any returns, I just want to keep my money, then that's not considered as investment. Okay, or you are just spending the money to uh, consume things, then that is also not considered as investment. So again, the investment can be in the form of real assets or in the form of financial investment. Then here in this entire syllabus, we'll discuss more about the financial investment aspect of the investment management. Then again, investment is completely different from speculation and gambling. When it comes to risk, return or time period involved, speculation and gambling are very short term whereas investment is always for the long term and it is a calculated risk. Then it involves uh, investment management, the main idea you have to identify what are the different in investment avenues available, what is the risk and return involved in each investment option and then finding a suitable portfolio ideal portfolio for the client then again it mainly focuses as i told risk return trade off so in this entire investment management we'll be talking more about risks and returns okay yes you can uh, go for this further references these are the textbooks i have uh, referred so you can go through for detailed uh, notes or theory about it okay thank you very much let's meet in the next session next video to discuss more about investment management thank you all